But yeah, we, when we were at Iron Shield, uh, Alex was like, oh, if you're going to do a X-Men team of five people, you know, who would it be? And like, you know, I was like, oh, what's the mission or whatever? And he's like, oh, just in Generic general, team. just it, yeah, yeah, whatever <laughs> you think, whatever like that. So I know Jaron went and Jaron, I think he had like Kitty Pride. Of course um, he would. Emma, uh, <laughs> Emma Frost. Of course um, he would. <laughs> I'm trying to think of whatever, and I don't, I can't think of remember. Oh, he, Quicksilver. Yeah, of course he would. <laughs> of course uh, he would. Scarlet, <laughs> Scarlet Witch. Yeah, and and all people are going to hate on me. Like Scarlet Witch in the, the books didn't get like, except for like the House of M. Like Scarlet Witch in the books really wasn't like doing shit. Like, yeah, oh my hex power would have changed the probabilities. <laughs> so now this box falls on you. Oh, like like her powers the movies made her way more powerful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her powers got way better in the in the movies. Than they really did in the comics for most of her history in the comics. Um, and then I can't remember who his last one was. Probably some anyway. other big titted woman. <laughs> <laughs> so mine, and I, I did, uh, and I'm going to save the one that was the controversial one I'd argue about at the end. But mine was uh, Magneto, because he was an X-Men mm-hmm. at one point in time. Uh, Storm, naturally. Obviously. Can't go a team without Storm. She's Omega level. Yeah. Uh, I did take Emma Frost, because I like her ability to have a telekinetic, but also... Someone that can defend herself because the diamond yeah, form, which I know she can't. And she always I know. Gets, she always gets work, but she's the yeah, first yeah, one yeah. to go down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I didn't want to include like Phoenix Force Jean Grey because uh, whatever. Then I said, "Oh, I'm gonna go cheat code, and I'm gonna go X Man Nate Gray." Okay. <laughs> and then my last one was Darwin. Okay, and that works. Alex was like, "Oh, Darwin." No, Darwin. I mean he can only. And I was like, okay, you're about to go on the same rant I went on. Go for go for on the rant. What would you have said to that? Darwin is like he can survive almost any everything. He like literally yep. his his ability is to like still be there when everybody else is like getting their asses kicked. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's like, of course you want Darwin, because everybody while everybody's dying, Darwin's like, Oh, y'all hot? Like, are we on fire? Oh, I've got scales now. And that's why they fucking suck. First class when they killed him, like how he he can like literally like adapt his body to survive. <laughs> yes, and that was my argument was that he can survive. I was like, so he was like, but he can't really do anything offensive. But I'm like, yeah, he can if he's fighting someone that's super strong. He, he becomes become super, super strong. strong to fight the guy. Like and he goes, well, his powers don't help and affect other people. And I'm like, well, now recently they've allowed him to be able to not like almost transmit his powers, but he can do more to protect other people with his powers. So I think he like confused I mean, with Hella or something, and he was able to like produce force fields for himself and other people. Like, but anyway, I was Wolver- like, "What does Wolverine do to help other people?" Like, my point, I was telling him is like, he's my X Factor because like he can, like you said, adapt everything. I said, but also too, let's say by some happenstance, my team loses, he at least get a way to get reinforcements because he yeah. will be able to adapt to any situation to survive. <laughs> And I was like, also, the last part of it, I was like, I'm almost positive with Nate Gray's uh, powers, which is pretty much, you know, like Wolverine has, plot device armor. Yeah. He could probably do something to tap into Darwin's brain to really upgrade his powers to be able to protect the whole team if need be. (laughs) Like, it would be some situation where he would be able to transmit his powers that, like, everybody now could breathe on the water. Or like you said, if it's fire and he grows scales, Nate Gray will probably have something where he could sonically make everybody grow scales. Like, yeah. I feel like that team together would be able to, I was like, all, you know, do something where they would expand Darwin's powers to be able to give all of them protection because Nate Gray pretty much has plot armor. So, <laughs> <laughs> but so if you had to do your five at five team of X Men, who would it be? All right, number one, Nightcrawler, obviously. Yep. Uh, yep. Storm, number two. Okay. Okay, number three, Bishop. Oh, uh, Bishop. Oh, number four, Iceman. Uh, Ooh, I have the yeah, actual. At least you do a, number five, but we have to talk about we have to talk about Iceman depending on who your number five is. Is an Omega level mutant. All right, so I'm like, a, go ahead, give you number five because I want to talk about who, that. All right, you number it. five. Uh, I probably would pick. Uh, I don't know who else is somebody. <laughs> this, this this my team is going to get like arrested because they're all the bunch blackest, of black. Yeah, people. I was thinking the blackest <laughs> black team ever. Uh, what what's a uh, sunspot? He's black and Brazilian. <laughs> Okay, good. Now my my beef, not my beef with Nightcrawl, uh, but Iceman. My only thing with Iceman is that he's only shown that absolute manifestation and ability of his power when Emma Frost took over his body. 
Yeah. Iceman is himself has never shown the ability to do what Ember Frost did with his body in a very short amount of time, may I add, because Iceman's always been a slacker. So yes. when you get Iceman... Well, not gay with Iceman. He gay shouldn't Iceman do what Ember Frost did with him. Ember Frost was doing crazy shit. <laughs> no, not like Ember Frost did. Like, uh, yeah, but you've got someone there. taking over your body, realizing that you, you know, when you're in your own head, you don't know your own potential, okay? Again, that's my thing. Was like, <laughs> so Alex had Iceman on his list, and I was like, you probably want to put Emma Frost on the list too, so she can unlock all his potential because he ain't See, doing the shit that Emma was doing with him. <laughs> See, the problem with Emma Frost is you don't know what whose side you're on. She's on until like ever. <laughs> it's like, are you are you, are, you, are we friends? So she's like, I don't know. Are we friends? Like, no, no. Seriously, I need you to just say yes or no. Are we <laughs> friends? Like, because if we're not friends, like this is not going to work. She's like, I don't know. Are we friends? I oh. can kill you. I cannot. I don't know. You just got to find out. She was, like, <laughs> she was extremely loyal to the X Men. Almost, she was so loyal to the X Men. She made people think the Cyclops was still alive. Yeah, that's how loyal well, to the X Men she was. <laughs> she was, you know. Uh, I guess is this a, a spoiler alert for people that don't know this information? Having a, a <laughs> mental affair, which you know, I don't know if that's technically an affair. If you having it's like not inside your head, yeah. <laughs> If I think I want to bang a woman down the street and I imagine a dream about banging this woman down the street, that's not an affair. That's yeah. just me fantasizing. Now, if I just but think a woman has the ability to help has... me fantasize, that's just your fantasizing with teams. <laughs> that person has a the ability fantasy. to manifest that fantasy as real as realistic as possible inside your head. So that you not feel cheating. like you're physically there. I don't it's not you. I don't feel I, I don't feel like either. <laughs> also, like that same thing happened. Like the the same discussion was, uh, and you you watch Black Mirror, right? The one where yeah, uh, yeah. the two dudes are playing the video game, the yep. virtual reality video game. They start having sex with each other. Like, is that cheating? Like, they're not physically doing anything. <laughs> it's all in their head. <laughs> I say, yeah, that. I'm gonna go with not cheating. <laughs> I say that, that's the one I'm firm saying. I'm just not. <laughs> if it's in your head and you're not touching nobody. You know, yeah, no, you know, no guess, bodily fluids are being transmitted. You know, it's 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 in your head. Like and I know some people are going to be like, well, "What about emotional cheating? What if you're just with some woman and you're giving her all your feelings and time, but you're not physical? Not cheating. <laughs> not che- cheating is when you physically give yourself to someone else on t- over your spouse. If you're emotionally cheating, which I don't think is a real thing. I think everybody that emotionally you, cheats. Everybody gets to say something that. from everybody. Like you know, you can emotionally cheat with your best friend you know like your your best male or heterosexual men you could both you could you could be emotionally cheating with your heterosexual male friend you know hey i mostly cheat on this show my wife don't want to talk about this shit you talking about yeah if i didn't talk about this shit i would have an outlet i had to talk about it with so if jason was a sitting good woman at, sitting at we, the table. be like oh he's emotionally <laughs> cheating with this co-host like nah i'm enjoying having this conversation with somebody that a mom who don't want to have this conversation <laughs> <laughs> just sitting at the fucking dinner table with his bad because he can't talk about nerd shit. Like, I just want to talk about Lord of the Rings, goddammit. <laughs> just once. Just what's gonna be just about once. <laughs> Pretend like you're interested. Just, just smile. Yeah. And... <laughs> All right, that's our five team of X-Men. 